Whoa, 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 hold your horses there, podcast listener. Yeah, just slow down for a minute. It's, just, it's okay. It's okay. We got something we got to do first, okay? Yeah, do you know how fast you were 15 seconds skipping ahead there, back there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we saw your finger hovering over that button. It's a little it's a little dangerous. You know, you might miss something. You yeah, might miss something. You might miss this Patreon shout-out. We have a new patron uh, who has given us a certain amount of money. Therefore, we must shout them out, sing their praises. Mm-hmm. Uh, this time, Nate Cunningham has joined our Patreon. Thank you so much for being a patron. They've also written a message that I would like to read right now. Took me way too long to finally support you guys on Patreon. Been listening for years, and all your hard work has not gone underappreciated. Oh, thank you. Long story short, I discovered KHP just as my wife and I discovered the house we just bought was infested with carpet beetles. Oh, no, that is not where I thought that was going. No. What, infested, what were you thinking when they said infested? I, I thought, like, j- this Ghost. house we invested in. <laughs> so I was we, hoping for, for Nate. We invested with these carpenter beetles, but uh, <laughs> they kind of took us for a ride. <laughs> they, the estimates were too low. <laughs> we weren't prepared. Uh, Uh, But no, it it seems like it's fine. Uh, Nate continues, they're not overly harmful, but to get rid of them, it requires hours of daily cleaning and spraying. It was pretty miserable, but listening to KHP provided some much needed laughs. Anyway, this message is longer than I had intended it to be. Like the podcast. (laughs) I just wanted you guys to know that you rock, the show rocks, and keep fighting. Nate, thank you so much. Oh, Nate, thank you so much. Look, I I pledge this. Uh, this show does not endorse carpet beetles. I'll no, say no, no, that. no, no, no. Mm-mm. We don't endorse carpet beetles. But if you happen to get carpet beetles, Kame House Party is the perfect way to get through it. Let's just yeah. Say that. Make them listen to this. And they will leave. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. <laughs> just blast that. Blast yeah. our voices, and we most household pests. So. Uh, Carpenter ants, uh, mm-hmm. termites, maybe you got uncles. some bees in the wall. You got them stubborn uncles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're taking their shoes off. They're getting too comfortable. Yeah, they're taking Just, them off in weird places. Yeah. It's like, why are, why are your shoes in the bathroom and why did you leave them there? One's in the hallway and there's just a sock on a banister. <laughs> I have a confession to make, Aaron. This is the kind of man I am. <laughs> I will leave a sock in one room and the other, How? and its mate in another. How? I I get I get hot in my feet. And I take one off, and I'm like, that's enough. <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then I move to another room, and I'm like, oh shit! I left my sock in there. I'll get it tomorrow. <clears throat> but the cats love it because they have somebody to sleep with. Oh. Yeah, there you go. They get your good stink. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and Nate gets this good shout-out. Uh, but, th- Nate, thank you so much for being a patron. We really appreciate it. Um, I mean, look, we're going to say it a bunch. If you want to be a patron, just head on over to patreon.com slash Party. You get a shout-out. Just Maybe like you- Nate. Mm-hmm. Maybe you'll get some bonus eppies. It depends on what you're giving us. Yeah. You get in. What you put in, we put in 110%. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. Just like Nate. And look, now we're going to let you off with a warning this time. But yeah. uh, don't don't skip ahead next time. Listen to the whole thing. Yeah, we'll be watching you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you on the other end of this. All right. <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a safe journey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Vince. I'm Aaron. 
and this is the universe's best, funniest, and only improv comedy Dragon Ball Watch Long podcast. And we are here again for another week to talk about another exciting episode of Dragon Ball. But before we get into that, we've got a little housekeeping. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> That's not the official name. It's called Kame Housekeeping because it's a party. We're inviting you into our home, our audio home. Uh, and we want to make sure that it is spick and span and you guys are taken care of. So let's get into the first piece of Kame Housekeeping, which is the world famous UN sanctioned one minute roundup whip sound. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence, you gotta stop working the mine. You're gonna kill yourself. I love working in the mine. I What's so job. great about it? Dark, damp. Yeah. It's I killing you. I see no downfalls. I see no downfalls. Why why be above ground when you could be underground, okay? Uh look, when I'm in the mine, it's just me, my pickaxe, and all the boys singing a good old mining song. You can't get that above ground. And when I come out, everybody's like, oh, your cough is so upsetting. And there's blood in it. And and you look jaundiced. And you're covered in soot and ash. And I say, I say to them, well, I had a great time. I sang for 16 hours. And I came back with a couple of quarts in my pocket. So there. Wait, okay. Of everything you told me, if I can analyze, oh, look, I'm no analyst, or, or I'm not a barber slash doctor. Mm-hmm. Um, smart, smart folk. Mm-hmm. Trim your mustache. Trim, trim some fat. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. What? Of, uh, it sounds like maybe you don't have the black lung, and you're just singing two gosh darn months, sixteen hours straight. That's inhuman. Uh, it's not inhuman for us and the boys. We're just doing it in a round, you know. Western Beyonce couldn't even hit those West, those hours. That's because Western Beyonce, she's not in the earth, man, okay? Down in that earth, the air is condensed. Apparently, I don't know how it works. Mm-hmm. A doctor told me mm-hmm. that when he was cutting my hair, mm-hmm. he said, you know, because you're down in that mine, you could probably sing a lot longer. So that's what me and the boys do. You want me to sing a little bit? I mean, I wouldn't hate it. I mean, if you're going to do it anyway, I might as well hear a jaunted tune. Well, here it is. And maybe I can convince you to come into the mine with me. And hey, it might be my last one, but I'm dying happy. Here we go. Down in the mine, we hunt for gold. Down Down in the mine. Mine, we hunt for old. We hunt for old with your pickaxe and your TNT. Kaboom and kaboom. Go you, you and me. See? It's a pickaxe kind of party down in the mine. Down in the mine. And see, see, that's it. That's it. Wait. That- oh, that wasn't me. That was you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was singing all the parts, but if you were, <laughs> if you were there. <laughs> and, and scene. scene. Oh, my gosh. If this is your first episode, that is the improvised Western theme scene that we do at the top of every show to loosen or tighten our improv muscles for whatever the show may throw at us or whatever uh, this conversation leads us into uh, because it's fun and we love to do it. But now we get into the one minute roundup proper where one of us, this time Aaron, has 60 seconds to summarize everything that has happened in Dragon Ball up until this point. You're like, oh, Oh, what? Uh, 84 episodes of Dragon Ball Z? Aaron, that's chump change. That's easy. That That's easy. That's like fighting Jake Paul in the ring. Nah, 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 nah. Aaron's going all the way back to the OG. He's got to summarize all 153 episodes of Dragon Ball. And the 84 episodes of Dragon Ball Z. <clears throat> so, without... Yeah, that's like fighting Jake Paul's brother. Yeah. <laughs> whose name I forget. Good. And I won't say it. They suck. Who cares? They suck. And I hope, I hope, I hope Jake Paul gets punched so hard in the face that that he doesn't die, but he really decides to change who he is. That's what I want. Some some sort of Ebenezer Scrooge like punch. 
Yes. He sees three ghosts that get him to change his ways. A ghost of Vine Star's past, a ghost <laughs> of his TikTok present, and whatever is the future of the, the metaverse go- future. <laughs> Yeah, he has a digital grave that, like, he cries over. It's an NFT, and nobody <laughs> bought it. <laughs> it's that it's it's like point oh 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 one Ethereum. Man, is, that's not even that's worth less than the dollar. And the ghost is like, well, you don't even know the dollar has been phased out. <laughs> Who? What? What are those? <laughs> yeah, what are those? Yeah, all the go. <laughs> also, what are those? <laughs> the ghosts just keep clowning on his shoes. Aaron, enough stalling. <laughs> oh, we can't we can't work on our like weird <laughs> a Christmas carol starring YouTubers <laughs> pitch. I mean, I bet Netflix would buy it. They uh yeah, they buy it. They, they Why buy wouldn't it. they? they they're just buying show. up shit because they need to now. They have, <clears throat> they have to feed the beast. And I they have to and I have to feed the beast of the one minute roundup. But but I can until I you ask you, are, Aaron, are you ready to round up? Dramatic pause. Yes. Dragon Ball is about seven magic crystal balls. You collect them all. You get any wish you want. And the main character is Goku. And we follow his his life. When he was a kid, he beat up a bunch of people who wanted to take over the world using the, the Dragon Balls. He entered karate tournaments where he did karate. He was really good at it, but he didn't win until the third one. He stopped demons from taking over the earth. He made a bunch of friends and helped his friend. He found love, or love found him, actually. Uh, he got married, had a kid. Uh, when he's an adult and he had a kid, he found out he was actually from space because his brother came down and tried to get him to do evil space stuff. He's like, no, thank you. But he died in the process. And the afterlife, guess what he did? He did more karate. He came back, helped his friends out, beat up a bunch of other aliens. Then he got beat up so bad and the Dragon Balls got taken away. His friends went to another planet to get those Dragon Balls. Goku met up with them later. They beat a bunch of aliens who were super strong. Now there's one alien named Frieza who's like the strongest and Goku's still trying to get healed, but all of his buddies are trying to fight Frieza and his former enemy Vegeta is trying to too, but maybe he's bad at it. Wow. Comprehensive to say the least. If I think, I think if you leave out nouns, proper nouns, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that'll get, that'll get you pretty far. That'll get you pretty far. If you're very vague, Goku Mm -hmm. is really the only name you need to know. Yeah. So it just should be Goku. 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 Goku was a boy and then grew up. Anyway, <laughs> well, it's going to get to that point. It's going to get to sooner that sooner than later. Um, and I should let the listeners know that we do that for your benefit. Uh, so you don't have to go back and listen to every single episode of our podcast or watch every single episode of Dragon Ball to get caught up, to to participate in the show, to, to jump in the discussion like we're about to right now. But we got one more piece of Kame housekeeping that we got to do. Uh, and that's where I tell you that we watch two different versions of the show. I watch the English dub version while Aaron watches the English or the, the English subtitle version, Japanese language version. And uh, we do that because comparing and contrasting is fun. And if you are writing a paper, that's all you need. Compare and contrast. Intro, three body paragraphs, conclusion, donezo. I, d- I just figured out school for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, we got we to gotta get into this episode. We start with the title. I'll start with the English title of this week's episode, which is episode 85 of Dragon Ball Z, The Renewed Goku. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mine also says Goku. Okay. It says a word similar to renew that also starts with an R. You're not going to get me excited about a possible <laughs> title Yahtzee. I What's know not? better at this point. Yeah, you know. I was ju- I was like a, I was like a dog with a with a treat. You were always like, "Hey, there's a treat in this hand." Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh, there's a treat, there's a treat, there's a treat," and then there wouldn't be a treat. But I'd still I'd stay. I'd still <laughs> you stayed around. I, stayed, I hung around. <laughs> Fine, I'll just say my title for episode 85 of Dragon Ball Z from the original Japanese, roughly translated, which is How I've Waited for This Moment, Son Goku Revived. Wow. 
they really just embodied everybody watching that, yeah. <laughs> watching at the time. Because, the, yeah, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, the announcer's like, oh, for real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, he walks into the booth, he's like, what? <laughs> it's today? And they're like, yeah, yeah, calm down, calm down. It's fine. It's today. Just be cool. Don't make hey, a scene. Uh, don't add an extra exclamation or, like, mm-hmm. an extra sentence to this title. Because we, we, can't, we can't change it at this point. It's, it's called Sun Goku Revive. Don't add anything else. Yeah. Yeah. And don't allude to anything else that happens in this episode, which I, I'm pretty thankful for. I don't know. Uh, I, I, this is part of my history with this franchise is I remember watching these sequentially, like in, uh, in fifth grade, I think around the time. Mm-hmm. Was that when it was airing on TV? Uh, that's when it felt like it. If, if I'm off, I'm off. We don't do research. You could tell me, and mm-hmm. then I can tell you where I was. Uh, well, here's the here's the. No one knows when you were in fifth grade. Nobody does. So it's correct. <laughs> I could be in fifth grade right now. <laughs> I just learned about uh, geometry. Ooh, oh, that seems. A, ooh, that seems a little advanced. I must have been. I must have gone to this stupid school. <laughs> Look, I I had a private school education. Mm-hmm. Where they taught me Japanese in third grade as the foreign language. So I can count real good. You got a foreign language in uh, in elementary school? Yes. Yes, we did. Japanese for like two years. And then <laughs> I think I may, have, I may have talked about this before. But then my dad was like, this is not practical <laughs> to, the, to the school board. He was like, I don't what? think. Yes. <laughs> He's, he said, he told me about this like after I graduated. He goes, because I was t- I was talking to people about taking Japanese and how I was going to take it in college. And he goes, oh, yeah. Uh, he's like, and I was like, and they don't do it anymore. And he goes, oh, yeah, that's my fault. And he go- and I was like, wait, why? He goes, I mean, why were you learning Japanese in third grade? It's not a language that you would use ever in practicality, you know. And then now look at me. And yeah. now I have like this shonen protagonist arc where I'm trying to show my father wrong. <laughs> Every time I go home, I say, Konnichiwa, father. Or Konbamwa, father, because it's the evening. Mm. See? See? How about that? How about that? And I say, and then I'm like, oh, Oto-san. Uh, Onome wa nan desu ka? I just, I wholly know how to do is ask people's <laughs> names. And I can count to That's 100. Counting is very easy in, in Japanese. It's a lot easier than Spanish. Oh my god! There's a, there's a lot of syllables, and I don't I don't want to critique another person's language, but relatively speaking, there's a lot of syllables once you get double digits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, there, uh, like, yeah, couldn't he predict that you're gonna do <laughs> an entire ass podcast? That that's his only weakness. <laughs> My my father is a very strong strong man, and that's his only weakness. Is he had he didn't have this foresight. He could never have seen who could have who he would have had to predict so many things. I know he would have like the ad. He's like he'd have to predict that radio would yeah. somehow go digital. Nobody nobody expected this. No one no expected one this. But look, I guarantee that Goku is revived mm-hmm, mm-hmm. by the end of this episode. Yep. Some might say. At the very tail end, <laughs> but let's we gotta we gotta go through it first before we get to that wonderful wonderful moment. Let's mm-hmm. yeah, let's get into it with. I mean, really, it's just what it's Frieza and Vegeta fighting. Yes. It's Vegeta really realizing that. Whoops, I don't know about this. Like I. I mm. Like, have you been in a situation where you went in like a little, like you went in half cocked, you were like, I got this. And then you walked through the doors and you were like, oh no, like I am out of my element. Um, I did technically fail my driving test when I was 16 Man, to get hard. my real license. Yeah. Because I, so the driving test was just go into the highway, take a left ski, keep on going to the right highway take another left ski. That was it. You had to just like show you knew where all like the blinkers and lights and whatnot were. And that was fine. But I crossed like, I, I, it was at like, uh, we took the test at the state patrol's office. 
Mm-hmm. So like I still had like there's a cop in this car with me. So I'm like, oh, I need to be in the right lane because I'm going slow. But then I cross two lanes as like in like one go. And they're like, and the one was very nice. She's like, look, uh, so technically you're supposed to fail because you did two lanes at the same time instead mm-hmm. of doing one at a time. But uh, I knew you were nervous. So here you go. Here's a license kit. Hey, there we go. Here. There we go. Look, if you are, if, if look, if you're nice and you, and you and you don't make a fuss, Sometimes people give you the benefit of the doubt. If if you if you look very scrawny and weak <laughs> and someone's just like, this kid's gonna get beat up if he doesn't yeah, get yeah, his yeah. license. Yeah, if this kid doesn't get his license, he he's done for. Yeah. I gotta throw him a bone. Yeah. There was so technically, I should that's the only driving test I've ever taken mm. in my like since then. I haven't like had to redo anything or even no matter what state I went to. Mm-hmm. So technically I shouldn't have a license is what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, they, there's a, there's a podcast clause. What's said on podcasts. This is mm-hmm. parody. Always, always parody. So you can't, you're not liable. You're not liable. This, you're, you're a character. This is Aaron, the character. Talking. Yeah. Aaron, the character doesn't know how to operate a vehicle <laughs> and definitely should not be on the roads and is definitely a danger to others. The air in the character. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I I have a so I have yeah, a your story. story's better. Keep going. It's okay. Look, this is a little little PG thirteen. All right. Look, I I'm Hand a holding. young man, and I have a young I have young men friends. When mm-hmm. my when one of my best friends was getting married, we went to Atlantic City for his bachelor party, um, and I had never been to a strip club before. They we we decided as a group that we were going to go, and I was like, "It's a strip club. Like it's gonna be like the movies. You walk in, you sit down. People like you can order drinks or whatever." No, this one, Atlantic City. No, thank you. I did not enjoy myself. They walked in the door. They said, "Hey, fifty dollar or twenty dollar cover, and give us your phone." I was like, "My phone? (laughs) You can't take that from me." What, what am I going to do? Uh, sir, I'm under 30. I don't know if you realize that. Yeah, and I clutched it, and the bouncer took it. Yeah. Um, but just that atmosphere was so much for me, and I've been drinking a little bit, so I was like, oh, I, I, am, I am over. I am way too deep. I went to the bathroom to, like, try to get some fresh air. There's no fresh air in a strip club, okay? Mm. <laughs> Absolutely none. Um, it all smells like... I don't know, body butter and glitter. Uh, yeah, that day you learned that glitter had a scent. I ex- it that's not exactly a how one. it felt, and I was like, none of this is really for me. Um, so I spent way too much money on a thirty rack because it was a scam, uh, and they made us hold it and drink it. Uh, it it wasn't my favorite thing. So there we go, and I cried just like Vegeta did in this episode. <laughs> Because you real you had lost the will to live. Mm-hmm. I had completely lost my my say in spirit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. It seems like you might have gotten something I didn't. So okay. No, I made that up. Oh, I wish. I wish they had something fun like that. I la uh, my say in spirit is crushed. <laughs> Who am I? Let me go stare at it. Why distance. are they taking their clothes off? <laughs> Oh, no! This This can't be! These clothes have to be weighted. (laughs) They're doing it so they can be stronger, right? They have no armor. They must be superior warriors. (laughs) Picking things up, but not with their hands. (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, that that went not PG-13 very quickly. (laughs) I mean... A po- the first half of this episode, I think, is PG thirteen. The second half gets a little bit it hard gets rough. Off. I think. So. What well, I mean, re- it is. I will say, this episode very cool animation wise. This first half, there's not a lot of like changes. Mm-hmm. It's really just Vegeta looking back and going, "I thought I was strong." Frieza was playing me for a fool. 
he gets so mad that he just becomes a ball of energy and starts shooting a bunch of balls of energy everywhere, which is very cool. It's very it's it's an awesome technique that I don't think I've ever seen Vegeta use ever after this. His frenzy technique. That's a good that's a good word for it. His yeah. you're not playing fair technique. Yeah. His I'm just gonna break all the toys technique. Mm-hmm. Um, which is kind of like all Vegeta has against Frieza is a, he's just almost for five minutes or so. He's just firing a barrage of energy blasts. Um, he's not, not even making Frieza blink. It's it's hard to watch such a, a prideful character being like really put in his place. There's a, a Piccolo does make a remark where he's like, huh, Vegeta's not even. I thought Vegeta was like, you know, being willy nilly with it, but he Mm. has carefully aimed shots, but Frieza just keeps dodging them. Yeah. Yep. That's almost exactly what mine was. He says willy nilly. He says says he's, he's all nimbly pimbly, but (laughs) Frieza's still faster. He's using dead eye, but it doesn't matter because Frieza's using hacks. (laughs) Frieza, I'm trying to get, we're all trying to kick Frieza off. But Goku won't vote. Yeah, Goku's not voting Frieza off the server. It has to be unanimous. He keeps ganking us. Frieza's camping. (laughs) Frieza's spawn camping. This is not (laughs) fair. It's not even funny. How did we get matched up with him? Damn, Frieza's playing on PC. No fair. (laughs) We're we're still bronze. He's platinum. <laughs> but that, I mean, I don't know if I I don't have a um, like I don't have a sibling. But mm-hmm. it, is does it feel? Do you when you were little and your mm-hmm. older sibling made you feel powerless? <laughs> did were you like was that your recourse? It seems like something kids do. Like I remember my cousins when they would fight. And one of them was obviously stronger. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put out who mm-hmm. that is because I don't know if they listen, and you're I don't want gonna, them coming after me. You're not gonna name which cousin is the strongest. No, as no. they're currently in an arm wrestling competition <laughs> against each other. They're training against each other mm-hmm. right now. <laughs> um, but like, is is that what it felt like? Is that what this may have felt like? Like, where you're just kind of like, I am so powerless, and moved to tears. Uh, we, we were more mental Mm. punishment. Um, I'm, so my hack was being a middle child, which meant disappearing on my own. (laughs) So the memes Uh, are true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're a middle child, it's like you get ignored, you want attention, hence this podcast and Mm -hmm. anything else I do in life. Um, but it's all secret. It's like secret attention. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, don't pay attention to me. But, but look come at on. me. Come on, look at me. So, uh, so yeah, I spent a lot of time like just on my own or with like friends outside of the house. My my little brother was up my older brother's butt when we were growing up. They were like, they were the duo. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, I was yeah, I was never scorched. Like, oh, you're gonna do this, then scorched earth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. destroy everything. Yeah, at least not that I can recall. I'd have to. We have to go to the the shelf. You got to go to the source. archives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the catacombs. <laughs> My little <laughs> one. I don't know why, but we're look. We're allowed to take these little jaunts. This is a very quick episode. Yeah. Um, one Christmas. When my older brother got a particularly large G.I. Joe haul. I think we both did. Like, I'm talking vehicles, actually, like, figures. Like, got like a whole play set? Not a play set. We never got the... Uh, I, th- I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, within that, toy, that original toy line, like the aircraft carrier, that was the, the piece de resistance, but I feel it was like 100 something bucks, like 80s dollars. You know, yeah. it was up there. Um. We had we had a bunch of stuff, and I think we come in. We're playing with it. We got it all lined up. I think we come back into the room, 
a little later. Something smells funny, and her toys are like sticky. He had peed <gasps> on the GI Joe no! <laughs> out of anger for something. I don't even remember what he was mad about. Oh my god! He straight up peed on these GI Joes <laughs> in a fit. Oh, good grief! Good grief, Charlie Brown. This is a little little Calvin this action is... from Calvin and Hobbes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He thought he thought it was a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> My little brother, a notorious Chevy man, even at that age. Uh, oh, yeah, it's a Calvin sticker, but it's like a little G.I. Joe's underneath the pee. That's a, man, man, oh, man. Yeah, so this is this is the power of siblings. That is insane. It is. It is. At some points, it gets. It's like. You when you have siblings. Mm-hmm. There, are, there are there are moments where it's like you have done things and they have done things where not even your worst enemy would do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just like 10 years later you like laugh about it yeah Frieza would never like pee yeah. on Vegeta's boots no it just doesn't happen Mm-mm. he would just he would just beat him up or just dodge I guess dodge his blast right dodge now. all of his blasts until until Vegeta gets to basically his breaking point. He is kind of coming to the realization that he's, he's probably not strong enough to defeat Frieza. So he takes to the skies and charges a massive energy blast. um, So large that from the ground, it looks, it eclipses the sky. Piccolo says, Vegeta, what are you doing? Or you're going to blow up the entire planet. Um, and I, this is this is like he he lives up to his name here. Frieza does because this is so cold. Frieza takes one look Let, at this thing. Oh, go real ahead. quick, yeah. At when Vegeta unleashes this energy blast, here's how mad he is in English. In mine, he says, "Burn in hell, Frieza." Whoa! He's so mad he speaks, he speaks an English? alien language. Yeah. He speaks the common. Mm-hmm. Oh man! Ooh. It feels like if Harry Potter got real mad and started to speak its parcel tongue to Ron. That's all I remember from the movie. That's it. That's it. I don't know. They, they, they could they could speak snake. Only only the weird kid with glasses who with that weird scar could speak snake. Black mm-hmm. kid couldn't speak snake. Didn't give him no powers. Puff puff. Harry Potter's not for me. It's not for anybody. <laughs> let it go. Who is? <laughs> I think the whole world's just let Harry Potter go. Hot take. <laughs> I I don't disagree. I mean, I guess you could say the same for Dragon Ball, but they're coming out with new Dragon Ball. They're coming so... out with new Dragon Ball. I don't see new Harry Potter shit. I'm not sitting in. <laughs> I like. I'm not going to the Dragon Ball play where Gohan has a kid or whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we saw some that. Kind of, there's some kind of. <laughs> Horror crux court. <laughs> I would I would go to a Dragon Ball themed really courtroom drama. <laughs> Dragon Ball X Phoenix Wright mm-hmm. on Broadway. I'm Ooh. it's coming, dude. It's coming. There is going to be an anime musical. There uh what was it? Uh because I just did we talk about this? I might have talked about this with Noah. Is it the 2.5 2.5D shows? No, actually, there is a um, Hideaki Anno, uh, the creative Dan Genesis, Evangelion. Ooh, his you guys wife just Mo- talked about Shin Godzilla. Mm-hmm. His wife Moyako, Moyako, Anno. She, I think, one of her mangas is getting adapted to Broadway currently, Ooh. which is, I think, the first manga to ever do that. So I love it. Uh, it's getting there. I'm I look, I'm I'm beating the drum. Anime's the next big thing in entertainment. It's, it's gonna be we're getting that everywhere. Hype. The hype is real. There is there's a joke about it in uh Inside Job. Mm-hmm. A new another new Netflix cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This one too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, at least they gave N- Nicole Byer a special. Took too long. BBW, go watch it. I haven't watched it yet, but 
I, I listen to her podcast, so I think I'm fine. I've, I've heard all the material. I've heard all could, the jokes, yeah. I've, I've heard everything she's got. I also saw her live here in New York during a comedy fest in 2019. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. You saw uh, it. It was a great show. She she kicks ass. She's so she's effortlessly funny in a way that is uh, unnerving to see live. Anyway, back to Dragon Ball. Yeah, uh, what's unnerving is Frieza. What he does here, because he he bent, he fucking bends it like Beckham, baby. Mm-hmm, he does mm-hmm. a bicycle kick, hits that energy blast back up, barely missing Vegeta, and it's maybe I missed a line of dialogue here. Or I miss that bit about Piccolo saying, hey, don't do that. Um, but the energy's so blast, it goes into space. Mm-hmm. It clips, like, in, like, the bottom third of frame, you see Namek. And then the rest is just the glow. It, it's serious. From the explosion. It's insane. Uh, like, Piccolo and the boys have to duck for cover. Very cute shot of, look... Piccolo, he's got his arm over Gohan protecting him. Mm-hmm. He's pushing Krillin. <laughs> <laughs> essentially. Is, essentially. He's like, he, he's like, I got precious cargo. Ah, oh, come on. Let me, ah, I'm, I'm getting stung. Ouch. Ouchie. Oh, there's my only, bald head. There's only enough of me to go around one. Gohan. Aren't you stretchy? <laughs> not like that. I'm not, I'm saying your arm. Oh, no, God, I know uh, what you mean. You fuse once and you think everyone wants. Oh, yeah. no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the, the baldy who's been complaining about not having a girlfriend this entire trip. It's just like, why don't you head. stretch over here and fuse with me? Not fuse. Just protect me from this energy. Yeah, You're stronger what, than that's me. That's what they all say. They say, protect me by fusing. And then they say, <laughs> oh, the condom fell off. <laughs> I got oh, you're so just, excited. Oh, you're just, oh, you're saying you don't want to be stuck with some sort of anchor egg? You think I'm trying to get you? I don't want you stuck inside me. I don't want to be just, I need shelter. Look, the blast ouch, is over. Ouch, ouch, the blast ouch. is over. Gohan's fine. Gohan, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. It's also for the tea you made while you were down here. Shh, go, go on. That's just for you. Ooh. And here's a little, here's a vanilla Tootsie Roll. Ooh, I suck. So that's my favorite. <laughs> And seed. seed. Oh, they are good. I look. So you know, sometimes the character isn't the player. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love a vanilla tootsie roll. I love a footsie, a fruitsies. Fruitsies, baby. Mm. Fruitsies. A grape one. Your now and later's can they can stay gone. I don't want that <laughs> stuff. I don't want your laffy taffy. Give me those fruitsies, baby. Orange dog. Yeah. Every every. Look, the the bad Halloween candy. Mm-hmm, I'll mm-hmm. give hand it over. We want we want your we want your uh candy corn pumpkins and we want your fruit seeds, baby. So no airheads. Yeah. They're too good. <laughs> I mean, in in Freeze is too good. I mean, he Piccolo points points it out after, you know, getting Gohan some cookies. He's like, "Whoa, that much power and Freeze just kicked it." Damn, yeah. damn. Yeah, they're they're all just like, damn. 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 <laughs> Balma somewhere. Damn. Yeah, how's I hope she fared. Yeah, ooh, I that's a good we, point. We did not cut to her during this. We didn't cut to Balma once this episode. Maybe she's hi- she's hiding some, under some pterodactyl. I hope she has some food. <laughs> Someone feed Bulma. <laughs> Someone feed <laughs> Hey. Listen, everybody, it's the holidays. We're all moving and grooving. I don't know if that's advisable, but look, if you're going out of town, make sure to leave enough food for your Balmas or Mm -hmm. they are going to just destroy your house. Have someone check in on them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leave a drag, you know, leave a Dragon Ball out. Leave a Dragon Ball for for her to play with. (laughs) Set up the radar, hide Mm -hmm. the Dragon Ball. She'll be fine for two days. Uh, a hunky boy, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Before we before we like wrap on this scene, mm-hmm. did you have any uh, fun one liners, or did Frieza take a, a little bit of time to just um, make Vegeta feel as small as possible? Um, there were a few. So it seems like in this episode, he keeps doing variations of this one, which is quote, "And now you'll experience a pain even greater than hell." Mm. Mm. 
uh, he, he's got a few lines like there are a couple of like so this is the power of the super saiyan i don't think so oh or uh <laughs> that's my catchphrase is, is it catching on yet <laughs> you ever notice how the, how the ginyu force whenever you want them to beat some chump's ass they pose instead and then you're going to ask for more PTO? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> it wor- Look, it's catching on. It's, it's catching working. On. Uh, <laughs> cut to Frieza on, <laughs> Frieza on Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Uh, <clears throat> so you want 5% of your company for $300,000. That puts you at a valuation of five point six million dollars for selling shoes. I don't I, think so. <laughs> Sorry, I stepped over your line, sir. <laughs> and I'm out on that. I don't I'm know, Mark. Out. Do you want in on this? I coach the Mavs. I don't know. Own coach the Mavs. He, he owns the Mavericks. Yeah, okay. the Dallas Mavericks. I was thinking the Cavs. Mm-mm, mm-mm. LeBron's former team. Uh-uh. No, no, Wait, no, are no, all no. Should, are, should all basketball teams just be in blank AV an uh, AV? We go through the whole alphabet. Mavs, mm. Cavs. So wait, we got Mavs, Dabs. Mavs, Cavs. Said so should they be? Should they be? Nah. Pavs, the, the NBA is fun as it is. Ravs, Rav Force. The the, ra- the, the Rav Force. The Honda Dome. <laughs> well, we, we got the cri- they changed the uh, Staples Center in LA to the Crypto.com Arena. No, they. F- Fuck you. Oh, okay. Bro, they but, took down the letters today. Okay. I, I'm i glad you brought this up because I remembered how insane I felt when I watched it. So I uh, went to the movie theater. Too many ads in the beginning. For too many trailers. Love trailers, but too many. Anyway, mm-hmm. right before the movie started, we there's this ad. I don't know what it's for, but it's Matt Damon. And he's walking down a hall and he's just talking about like humans we're great. We've achieved so much, but like we have to, you know, it's always stressful or strange because like to be the first to do something that's, you know, that's incredible. So he's walking past like Mount Everest, uh, the moon landing. Yeah. yeah. um, Other like big scientific accomplishments. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. He's on some like fake spaceship. And then he says his final line. The camera pans over and it's Mars. And the whole time I'm like, is this for Nat? Is it SpaceX? Like what? It has to be something spacey. He's in a space station. The last shot is Mars. There's a bunch of like, you know, that discovery right, right, right. stuff. Mm-hmm. Title card fades up. Cryptocurrency.com. <laughs> they got Matt Damon. They gave him enough Dogecoin to do this commercial. <laughs> God. That's pushed in movie theater. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm gonna do while I'm at the theater? While well, I'm buying a six dollar hot dog, a five dollar bucket of popcorn good, covered in grease, and I just made yeah, Sprite, it. vanilla, Coke, Fanta out of at, out of the freestyle machine. I'm gonna whip out my phone, enter the blockchain, and buy some fucking crypto. <laughs> Cause Matt did. Cause. Because the Martian hunting. told me so. The Martian told me so. Oh, is that why they showed Mars? He's like, dude, I've been there. I guarantee. I I can tell you exactly how that pitch meeting went. I'm so mad. I'm so mad at advertising companies doing this basic I, ass shit. I yell like I'm pretty sure I yelled out in the theater, and then as soon as that happened, the lights dimmed, and it was like a Wes Anderson film came up it it's was like wild i okay everybody we're sorry we, we kind of hinted that this would happen because not a lot happens in this mm. episode um we we have to we have to cut to commercial but i have the perfect outro line okay from frieza or from frieza from you from frieza himself okay um <clears throat> he says and for you vegeta one final piece de resistance that's it. Cut to commercial. Ooh. Free. Now you said cut to commercial, so I did. I know so you did. You, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. 
And I'm going to say to the audience, because I'm leaving this in, <laughs> uh, we're going too long. We got a no, no fake commercial. Oh, this yeah. Time. Wait, wow. I didn't even look at the time. Mm hmm. Okay. S so on with the show. On with the show. <laughs> So King Kai is just, he's, he's just narrating Vegeta's life. Yeah. And his, and his tear. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it was like, I was like, oh man. Oh, poor. Like I was like, poor Vegeta. And like, also I felt like it was weird that King Kai was the voiceover. I, I thought the narrator could have, could have done fine. We didn't need to. We didn't need to see King Kai in this episode, but I guess for visual balance mm -hmm. and mixing things up visually in the second half makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, it's like, it's just King Kai talking about, it's like, he's frustrated. He's scared. He's, he's a little baby. Yeah. He's, uh, I hate. He said like, this is a, this will be a fitting end for someone who took so many lives. Like this Ooh. is him, like kind of. This is Vegeta looking death in the face after he's caused it to so many, right? I, uh, he's too charismatic. I keep forgetting about all that murder, right? That entire bug planet that he did just for funsies, just for shit, mm -hmm. and then blew it up. Like he <laughs> he had enough power to blow up a planet back then. He caused a revel. He. He caused a bug rebellion. <laughs> Usurped a king. <laughs> I was like, eh. <laughs> yeah. And then squashed the lot of them. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, I forget. That's right. He's bad. This, that, I don't think that ever came up in my version. It was just like, yeah. the fear. Nah, that's not King Kai. You know what? I'm too Papa's too tired to do King Kai. <laughs> The uh, yeah, we're both too tired. <laughs> Skip it. Skip because it. it's. I, these notes are in all caps. Because <laughs> this next thing. <laughs> okay, Frieza. I think he just says, he's like, all right, here we go. So, something along those lines. Ready or not, here I come. He just, like a little clown rocket, shoots up, headbutts Vegeta, mm -hmm. does a bunch of flippity flips with the creepy smile on his face and like beats his ass down to the ocean. Yep. I I hate it. It was it was creepy. It, it's like what I think they do a great job of with Frieza is like he doesn't fight like any other creature you've seen fight. Mm -hmm. Like he he uses his tail. Sometimes he wags it in Vegeta's face. Like look at this. Yeah. <laughs> um, he does the Matumbo but with his tail. <laughs> no no no, not not in Frieza's house. <laughs> There, uh, yeah, he, I mean, like hands behind his back. He's, yeah. he's uses his feet a lot. Um, and Vegeta is sinking to the bottom of the ocean. And then this is this is a total boss move. Frieza, uh, just with the pressure of his power, I guess, alone parts this ocean, f flies down to to Vegeta's nearly lifeless body, and then. Picks him up by the hair. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, crabs, they get to work quick down there at the bottom of the ocean. This crab happened to be on the wrong body at the wrong mm -hmm. time. He, he, what a, what a swing for that crab. He um, thought he found the mother load. I'm going to eat for, for, I dare say weeks, that little guy. Oh yeah. That's a buffet for, for a crab down there. Um, but his, his awesome crab life was cut short because... <laughs> While, like, just, yeah. Frieza eats the crab off of <laughs> Vegeta's shoulder. Like an apple. Like an apple, yeah. Just, just raw. <laughs> and it's gone. And that's, what a... Yeah, if he wasn't already, like, intimidating or creepy enough, you... Look, next time you're bullied. Mm -hmm. Next time, Next time there's someone strong, or maybe someone's in your face... Eat a raw crab like an apple. Yeah. They're going to run. I'd run. I'm like, no. Yeah, I'd run from that. Or or look, if you can't if you can't get a hand on crab cuz Maryland blue crabs, they're they're harder to get these mm -hmm. days. Get get a get a shrimp, get a large shrimp. That's mm, 
That's I mean, less impressive. But if you're crunching through it with the head still on and there's a bully in front of you, they're going to think twice. There's mm, – because he – I – that makes me just think of, like, crawdads, which you okay. kind of, like – you know, you bite the head, you, right? Tell me I how to eat, so. tell me you to tell me someone tell me how to eat crop heads. I no, can't. You, you got it. Medically, I can't. Yeah, but you, there's like you, you pop the head off, mm -hmm. you, you suck out the meat in the head, mm -hmm. and then you take the rest of the of it. So yeah, I don't know if it's a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. Lobster, eh, maybe it's a. I don't That's know. Hard. The, That's hard. You're not biting through a lobster. The. Hmm. It's just the way he bit it. One, he got it in down in two bites. Yeah, it's, that's serious. And he like did it. He didn't eat it face first. It was like claw. Half. Yeah, yeah, claw yeah. Half. He got he got a lot in there. Yeah, he his, got some legs. I guess I guess that's it. Because if you're eating if you're eating a live crab, there are like the legs are moving, then the crab mm -hmm. guts are coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, I don't think there's any other like. That's hard as hell. I can't think. I genuinely, I'm like, what is another animal that is as like weird and intimidating, and like just says, I don't give a fuck. Because like you crab. know, your terrestrial insects, they all they have exoskeletons, but they're mm -hmm. not they're not like a crab. They don't have to deal with the pressures of the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. plus every people eat spiders and other kinds of stuff in other cultures. It's normalized that's, there. Yeah, that's not. I think it's the it, you're eating a crab the way you're not supposed to eat a crab. Right. Is part of it. Mm -hmm. Like any other, like, it has to be hands. You have to be able to hold it in your hand. Mm -hmm. Like just <laughs> grabbing a cow and bite, taking a bite out <laughs> yeah, of the that's side. Yeah, that's, that's not that's, intimidating. I'm not intimidated. I'm just like, I'll That's a leave Chris you. Farley bit. <laughs> That's like, you know what, sir? You look like you're dealing with a lot. I'm going to let you off. Bessie don't mind. You can take a bite out mm. of her. She's fine. She, Yeah, that's her thing. Moo. <laughs> we got to keep we got to keep moving. Do we though? I can't so so we're saying uh, so we're saying a crab. Yeah. Is the most intimidating creature that you can take a bite out of. Yeah. While taunting your enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they got it in one. No mm -hmm. notes. Dragon Ball. All they do is make hits. <laughs> Uh, and speaking of hits, I, I hated this part uh, because Frieza then punches Vegeta in the spine from the back. Uh, Vegeta lets out a, a pain, pain scream, obviously. And in mine, Frieza says, oh, good. I wanted to check if your reflexes was working. It's like, oh, God. Nice. nice. Yeah. I mean, he, there, yeah, there's a lot of like, I can't let him. I can't have you giving up after so little. Right. Again, this is going to be worse than hell. Let me reiterate. In yours, does Frieza give Vegeta a chance to join him one last time? Um, no, his speech is like, I, it's like, I thought you weren't like the other idiots, so I pampered you, but then you turned on me, and like, if you just wouldn't have turned on me, this wouldn't have happened. Mm, mm. Yeah, not a. Oh, really? Was he? What was the ultimatum? He, it was the same. It was basically that same speech, but they changed it a little bit for him to say, and maybe I'm misremembering. Um, but it, it, what I remember him saying was that he was like, "And I can make all of this stop if you pledge loyalty to me right now." If you if you kiss my little feetsies, kiss the toe ring. Mm -hmm. I'll hold on. Let me fashion one out of this crab shell. All right. <laughs> of course, Vegeta. I, I I don't think he's capable of doing it yeah. because he just got punched in the spine twice. He yeah. He's doing he's doing nothing. Yeah. Um. Throws him out the water, in front of the Z boys. Hangs him up like a punching bag with his tail. Just starts going to town on his back. Then Frieza. This this might be the cold, the coldest line mm -hmm. out of a, just a litany of cold lines. Slightly turns his head around to the Z boys and says, "Oh, if you want to save him, feel free at any time." Yeah. Uh, it it oh. sucks. 
it's it's yeah this multiple is multiple times in my notes i'm like this is just awful true true i mean for dramatic purposes vegeta does need to get like his comeuppance like this yeah this is definitely this is some this is some payback you mm-hmm. kind of need this to like kind of even the playing field a little bit for 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 past crimes but it is rough mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but also shows like oh yeah we like vegeta yeah yeah i think it, it's a testament to how they turned the greatest villain in drag like up into that point the greatest villain in dragon ball into a sympathetic character that we're all kind of rooting for yeah it's and really understand in a way that like i don't know do you feel like uh, maybe piccolo gets that kind of development but it seems like they rushed his throughout this arc where vegeta get we get to see vegeta from start to finish with this whole thing i think the dis so the disconnect with piccolo i think is that or i guess we can compare the two journeys Piccolo, this non-King Piccolo, Piccolo Jr. Mm-hmm. Um, you get some sympathy when he's All like right. a little tot, I think. Mm-hmm. you. Where Vegeta's like, he's just, he just comes out bad, right? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, kudos to Toriyama, man. Because like, in not too great a period of time, like one of the like greatest threats a dude you want to hate who fucking sucks, who killed all of your buddies, mm-hmm. all your favorite characters. It's like, no, no, I'm your favorite character. Now. <laughs> That's why I got rid of them. Mm-hmm. And he has a, like, there's an even, I think more poignant Vegeta moment coming up. Um, in one of these episodes, uh, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, but like but- it continues and you know, it's cool. Um, be- before we get to what the title said, yeah, I think the last shot of this is that not only are the Z boys watching, uh, unable to do anything, King Kai and Yamcha and Tien are also watching. Um, but where's Chao Tzu? Yeah, it's in my notes. Is it Chao Tzu don't want to watch? Maybe, maybe it's too. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Chats is like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to switch sides. All you fair weather fans, he killed my ass. He killed me too. And I'm, I mean, I'm rooting for him. Me, Yamcha. Yamcha, we all mm-hmm. know Vegeta didn't kill you. Uh, yeah, he did. No, no. It was Yamcha. a big fight. Um, it was, no, you really fought, close. You fought some green things, fought some blades of grass. And one, one blew up on you. I mean, you just, huh? I mean, you got, blo- you've got blown up on the brain is what I'm saying. I mean, look from some, is Mickey here? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, Mickey, you're here to watch the fight. Oh, I love a fight. The winner gets to be in the Disney parks. Cool. Me. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Yamcha. Sora? <laughs> Clo- I mean, close. No, Sora's got more fashion sense. Oh! Yeah, this Chow Tzu. <laughs> Psychic High Five from Chow Tzu. Nice! Wait, the. Oh! It's psychic, so it's tricky. If, if someone were just if someone were just listening to this, they'd be confused as to what just transpired. They would assume that Mickey and Chao Tzu were just flying around each other, going, Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> "Hey, oh, Triclops! Right. Triclops! I got a film I could put you in. You ever met a beauty or a beast?" Wait, what does that have to do with me? With me having three eyes? I look. I saw that movie. So, am I, am I, am I playing furniture? What's going on? Ever ever wanted to be a uh, a Disney monster? Benefits are pretty good. So not a so not a princess. Nope. Damn it. Uh, not a villain. Not quite. A mon. Uh, could you Disney monster? So like the weird demon thing from Fantasia. Yep. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yep. Yep. Most like, of the characters from Hercules. Yep. Yep. What are those Ooh. ogres? Uh, 
I don't know if you've seen any of our live Oof. action stuff. Maybe you have a uh, a role with a Angelina Jolie. Uh, Maleficent three. Maleficent three M- eyes. <laughs> I only make hits. <laughs> see. See. Oh, that's look. That's an appropriate scene for the amount of tired we are. It's, it's perfect. <clears throat> and I mean, the opposite of that. Cut to inside the ship. I've uh, you. You take it away. I, All right. So we, yeah, we cut to the inside of Frieza's ship. Um. Goku is in his chamber wondering what that evil power is. Oh, that's got to be Frieza. And then wait, wait, the alarm goes off and Goku's like, I'm healed. <laughs> he, does. Uh, he does. He says, he says, I'm healed. Um, fires, I guess just maybe it's just a pressure blast. Something. Something goes through the, the glass, through the door. Um, then Goku emerges wet as hell. <laughs> I mean, it it's a look, he's covered in saying goo and he's feeling saying goo. All right. Dripping Thanks, swag. Feeling goo as hell. He's goo as hell, baby. That's gonna be my new cool slang. <laughs> Walk in the room. Ooh, this club is goo as hell, baby. <laughs> Ooh, that DJ's spinning some saying goo. Oh, he might be a super saiyan. Got my my yellow slides on, <laughs> sweatpants because I don't know how to dress. <laughs> you look like whenever uh, LeBron played an old person. Yep, <laughs> I look like an NBA player pretending to be old. <laughs> what have jumpers, fucking Lacoste slides, a sweater vest, and a Why? and a fitted cap? Is it just? I assume it's just for comedy pur- purposes. But whenever a, a, a not elderly person gets in, gets the makeup done to be an old person in a movie, they never dress like any other old person I've ever seen. No. It's like someone told them what old people are. and Like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's like we all have this weird vision of, like, the retirement homes in Florida, and they're all just wearing Mitch mix, mix match consignment store clothes yeah. that, ev- that everybody hated. And that's what old people are forced to wear. It's like, yeah. no, old people wear regular ass shit. You have to wear plaid. Yeah, you have to wear plaid pants, and baby. stripes. <laughs> old people yeah. can't see patterns. <laughs> Hope you like a belt that's way too long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's braided. Good luck putting the meat, <laughs> like good luck cinching that. There's yeah, it, it's it's I mean, we do it too, but it's like whenever we do an old man voice, it's like they all do that but right. like but we're dummies yeah 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 who are like making a a dumb dumb podcast we're yeah, allowed we to have accent coaches yeah or wardrobe <laughs> yeah no one's putting money behind us to act like old men so mm-hmm. we can you know first thought best thought yeah exactly <laughs> goku's revived why are yeah, we talking, yeah. what about, are we old talking about old people because goku's back punching we holes through ships he- Punching holes through ships, he you kind of feet the 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 earth around the ship quakes as Goku bursts out of the ship in a beam of light. He says to himself, Wow, I can really feel this power, but I feel so calm. And then he's like, I'm coming, Gohan. Here comes Daddy. Does he say that last bit? No, I I put that in there. Yeah. Yeah, because that's Piccolo. <laughs> yeah, because Piccolo's like Piccolo's already there. And he's already there. <laughs> Here comes a person that shares a house with you. Here comes the guy that married my mom. <laughs> Here comes your, what I've been told, your legal guardian. <laughs> uh, instead of your mm-hmm. court, court appointed green one. Yeah. Look, there's a family you have and the family you find. Exactly. <laughs> there's. Goku, oh, thank God. I mean, it might just be more standing. I don't know. Look, I, I have a feeling we've got one more episode of standing around. There's... And then I remember clearly how Goku enters. I remember his stance. I can do it for you now. Okay. So get ready, somebody on YouTube, to map this. Because mm-hmm. it's just. All right, let's see it. 
can't see my feet. Oh no, the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up, up. Here it comes narrating it. He's he's doing a pose. That's it. That's all you get. Vince did a pose. I'm so tired. I it, forgot what medium I'm in. It, it was exactly like Goku's. Yeah, it's exactly like Goku's. But that's that's it. Goku. Goku's here. Yay! Yay! That's. I hope it's. I'm. Ho- I hope. I know there's a lot of. I know that we're coming up to a lot of yelling. Mm-hmm. We're standing around, but I'm. I'm still excited. Still excited. Goku's here. Yeah. Let's get it. And so, let's. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's get to some uh, no mail. But I do have some shout outs. Um, if you're a Spotify user. Um, or if you're around the internet this past week, I'm sure you saw people posting their Spotify wrap-ups, uh, talking about what music they listen to. They also have a podcast section. And some folks on Twitter were very nice to show theirs. Um, so I want to give a shout-out to Tiana. Uh, Patreon. Patron Tiana. Uh, we are their top podcast Ooh. for the year of 2021. Hey. Minutes streamed, 1,043. Tiana. That's too 1, much. 1,000? It's over 1,000. <laughs> it is. Technically, yeah. Yeah, it is. Technically, I'm rounding up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's over 10,000 officially. Yeah. Officially and technically. Yeah. Technically awesome. is just another way to say officially. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for listening, being a patron. And then I think a new follower... Uh, one Mimi boy on Twitter uh, wrote a very special thanks to the boys Kame house party for keeping me company on my rides across country this year. Uh, I'm actually not even caught up, caught up yet, but I'm getting there. So they mentioned that because they listened to 265 episodes for a total of 17,000 124 minutes. If I had a scouter on, it would pop. It, I mean, for a little explanation, uh, some of those minutes might be replays because I've fallen asleep with Spotify going before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we we appreciate padding our stats. Look, we yeah, love yeah. It. hey, we'll we'll yeah, we'll gladly lull you to sleep. Yeah, this, Obama, we're coming for your ass. Mm-hmm. This random screaming, that's mm-hmm. that's restful. Yeah, exactly. But uh, uh, one Mimi boy, <laughs> thank you, very thank you, much. one Mimi boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but that's yeah. Thank you all for listening. Uh, again, you can uh, well, let's go. Let's run through the things you can do. One, yeah, well, you I can look at cat. one. You can look at Florence to lose. To lose. I'm... She's tired too. That's why she doesn't. <laughs> Florence is a similar hue ish. Yeah, Florence and Toulouse, they they're pretty they're pretty similar. You can okay. get them mixed up. All right, they they're, they're very far away. Ooh, that's Toulouse saying you better get on with telling people about how they can write to us at Comedy right. House Party Pod at Gmail dot com. Um, how you can. Uh, follow us on all our social medias at Kame House Party, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you got, we're there. Uh, if you want to hear more of us, uh, if you want to shout out, you can go to patreon.com slash Kame House Party uh, to pledge a monthly donation uh, and you'll get some cool bonuses uh, depending on what amount you give. And if, you, if you're like, wait, I need more, May, are they on Twitch? You know we are. You can catch us every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv, twitch.tv slash Kame House Party. Mm-hmm. There we go. I tried to put a dot .com in there, but that's not how it goes. Uh, and we're, we, we, we play a variety of games and have a variety of fun. At the time that you're listening, Halo's out, so that's what we're playing this Thursday. <laughs> Vince, I mean, Vince is going to get a bunch of wins. Is what I'm, I'm going to ra- I'm going to, I'm coming for that. I'm coming. Well, this is we we have worn out our welcome for for me yeah, <laughs> personally. No, we're, we're we're done. I don't want to look at you anymore. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't want to look at me either. So, whether whether you are intimidatingly eating crabs, or you're kicking energy balls into the into low Earth orbit, you gotta keep.
fighting God. God. Thank you so much for your support. Um, that was a crap. <laughs>